This is another sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. This probably isn't a surprise. Federal scientists say July was the hottest month ever recorded in the lower 48 states, breaking a record set during the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. And even less of a surprise, the United States this year keep setting records for weather extremes based on the precise calculations that include drought, heavy rainfall, unusual temperatures, and storms. The average temperature last month was 77.6 degrees. That breaks the old record from July 1936 by 0.2 degrees, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Records go back to 1895. It's a pretty significant increase over the last record, said a climate scientist of NOAA's National Climatic Data Center in North Carolina. In the past, skeptics of global warming have pointed to the Dust Bowl to argue that recent heat isn't unprecedented. But this shows that the current year is out and beyond those Dust Bowl years. We're matching and beating them consistently from month to month. Three of the nation's five hottest months on record have been recent Julys. This year, 2011 and 2006, Julys in 1936 and 1934 round out the top five. Last month was also 3.3 degrees warmer than the 20th century average for July. In other words, the climate is getting hotter. 32 states had months that were among their 10 warmest Julys, but only one, Virginia, had the hottest July on record. That's unusual, but it shows the breadth of the heat and associated drought. In 2011, the heat seemed to be centered mostly in Oklahoma and Texas, but this summer, the epicenters of the heat kind of migrated around. It kind of got everybody in the action this month. The first seven months of 2012 were the warmest on record for the nation. In August 2011 through July this year was the warmest 12-month period on record, just beating out the July 2011 to June 2012 time period. But it's not just the heat that's noteworthy. NOAA has a measurement called the U.S. Climate Extreme Index that dates to 1900 and follows several indicators of unusually high and low temperatures, severe drought, downpours, and tropical storms and hurricanes. NOAA calculates the index as a percentage, which mostly reflects how much of the nation experienced extremes. In July, the index was 37%, a record that beat the old mark for July last year. The average is 20%. Yes, the climate is changing, and this too is another sign of the end of times as we know them, transition days, which is a time of extraordinary changes, happenings, and events, because it's about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations? And again, that should be a very important question to ask. Everything that must change, must change quickly or rapidly and for the better. Zechariah chapter 7 verse 9 Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment and show mercy and compassions every man to his brother. 10. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor, and let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. 11. But they refused to hear, and pulled away the shoulder, and stopped their ears, but they should not hear. 12. Yes, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, 
lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. 13. Therefore it has come to pass that as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. 14. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. Thus the land was desolate after them, that no human passed through nor returned, for they laid the pleasant land desolate. Luke chapter 23 verse 29 For behold, the days are coming in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bear, and the babies which never did nurse. 30. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. 31. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. And I beheld, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. 13. And the stars of heaven fell into the earth, even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and nation were moved out of their places. 15. And the kings and leaders of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every working man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. 17. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? It's time for the spiritual and physical manifestation of the book of Revelation. Everything is connected and everything is numbered. Yes, and these are more signs.